after being void of football for several weeks, I'm sure football punters will be delighted to welcome back the Premier League. We're going to preview it now. And first of all, I want to talk about Chelsea Man United sort of head to head. It's between those two at the moment in the betting. They're up at the top. Who do you fancy? Yeah, well, the Community Shield sometimes is a bit of an indicator. It didn't really seem like a friendly to me. Mm. They both played very, very strong teams. And this young guy off United, Hernandez, yeah. who they've signed from Mexico, I think he could be the star of this season. Um, he really does seem to know where the goal is. More importantly, he's a fox in the box. He really is that old type in and around the six-yard area. Although he can score from further field, I think Alex Ferguson is going to bring him on very slowly this year, but he will score important goals. Chelsea, for me, they're getting a little bit old. And I know Ancelotti... Through his years with AC Milan, he likes players in their early 30s because he feels they're mature, they know what to do at this stage. But I'm a little bit worried. Drogba's very injury prone. Anelka hasn't really hit uh, fire in the last couple of seasons. And I just wonder who's going to take up the slack if those two are not performing. So for me, I don't think it's going to be Chelsea this year. Could be um, United. It could be United at 5 to 2, second favourites. Chelsea at 13 to 8 favourites. They wouldn't be getting my money at that price. I have a sneaky feeling Arsenal. Um, I think Cesc Fabregas staying Nicola is massive. Mm. You know, he really is one of the best midfielders in the world. If they can keep him fit with Van Persie, they've got a couple of free signings. Simak is going to be a very important player for Arsenal. And this young side now has had three or four years of growing together. And I think that's a vital, vital point. And Arsenal may be at 6-1, to one, offer a little bit of value. Liverpool, um, in transition period with Roy Hodgson, it's good signs coming from the club. Players want to play for him. Gerard Torres have stayed, so that can only be positive. And Manchester City are spending so much money that you know who knows what's going to happen with them. I think a big thing is going to happen who will play in goal first game. Because I think whoever doesn't play in goal for City will go out on loan. Yeah. Whether it be Shea Given, I hope not, because he's in his 30s. He's dreamed of playing for a big club, and he deserves that. Although, on the other hand, Young Hart is a brilliant young keeper. So, Mancini's got a decision to make there. I'm just going to go with Arsenal for value at 6-1. to one. Um, They might win it, but I hope they go close, because they play the game the right way. We all love watching Arsenal play football, and I think for Fabregas, it'll probably be his last year. And it'd be nice for him to go out on a high with Arsenal. Okay. Now, another really popular market is the top goal scorer. Wayne Rooney, I have some doubts about him. and Plenty of Manchester United fans do. Will he come into the form that he was in last season? He started to show a few signs of form in the Community Shield. Not his goal scoring ability, but his passing ability. Mm. Dropping off the front man. And that's where I think Hernandez might have a big role to play in this season. But Rooney hasn't scored in a long, long time. Mm. Um, obviously, he went without a goal in the World Cup. He missed a couple of sitters against the Airtricity selection. So Rooney needs a goal. But listen, I'm not going to question his ability. He's yeah. a top, top class player. He's joined favour with Drogba at 5-1. to one. Torres, injury again. Yeah. You know, can Liverpool keep him fit for 38 games in the league? I think if Torres played 30 matches in the Premier League, his goals per game ratio is phenomenal. So you would imagine that if he could get 30 matches, he'd be right up at the top end. Um, I've already questioned Drogba. Van Persie is a man who didn't hit fire at the World Cup, really. Uh, he didn't score as many goals as he, w- as he would have wanted. He's 9-1. to one. I'm going to just go for someone, and it's going to be the little Mexican, Hernandez. I really feel that he's going to score a couple of goals, and at 25-1, to one, I think he could do a lot worse backing him each way. I just have a feeling Ferguson has picked a little gem here, and yeah. I think we're going to hear a lot more about this kid. That dreaded drop zone, who do you think we're going to see suffering? Yeah, well, I think, you know, like looking at the sides who went down last year, you know, also the sides who came up this year, Blackpool, fair play to them, but I believe they're going to go straight back down. I don't yeah. think they have the players, I don't think they have the squad to cope with the demands of a Premier League. West Brom, and um, there's no doubt that they will try and play football the right way, but you do need a little bit of steel and a little bit of battle to stay in the Premier League. And I think they might struggle. But one of the sides who I think stayed up last year, um, decent home form, very dodgy away form, and looks as if they're going to lose a couple of big players, i.e. Charles and Zogby might be leaving, is Wigan. Now, if I was to have one bet on a side going down, I would go for Wigan at 2-1. to I just feel they've been staying in the Premier League by the skin of their teeth for the last couple of years, and I think they may just find it difficult. I think Newcastle... Such a big club will stay up because they've got the fan base, 
because they've got a decent squad. They, you know, you must remember when they got relegated down to the championship, they didn't sell anybody. All them players have stayed with them and they're back up into the Premier League. So they've got something to prove. And I think Newcastle will be okay, um, but I just fear for Wigan. I think this could be the end of their Premiership dream. Okay, then to sum up, you think Arsenal to win, Hernandez top scorer, um, and then Wigan to go. Yeah, I heard it here first. That's it.